Alrighty guys, sorry for the bad lighting, but uh, we got a little project to work on here today. Uh, this panel has seen some age. It's a really old panel. Uh, I've got this breaker, this breaker. These are okay. And no, actually I'll take that back. That one's fucking toast too. That one's okay. That one's fucking toast. So, uh, they're having power issues and we came to find out why. Basically we had some melted breakers. Uh, these two bus lugs here. And this is a three phase panel, but it's splitting everything off into single phase. Uh, we had a little melty melt on our bus bar here. Which actually doesn't look too bad, except for that bit of plastic right there, but it'll be all right. Um, so we're gonna do a little rehab on this thing. We're gonna clean this up. We're gonna replace a couple of these breakers. Uh, put some antioxidant paste on all this shit. Uh, get this thing cleaned up, and then uh, hopefully we should be up and running. If, uh, if all else fails, we're gonna we're gonna change out this panel eventually. So it's not you know gonna be the end of the world, but we need to get it up and running for right now. So that's where we're at. Um, you know, this is a trip. This is a three phase panel, right? Where's the fucking third phase lug? I only see two fucking phases. That's one phase. Oh, I got one running right down the middle. That's what it is. That one's segregated by everything. So, we're going to have to be really careful with that. Yeah, see, I don't like that, but this uh, bar right here, I'm touching it, it's dead. This whole panel's off right now. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's not nice but yeah we had a little bit of issue there so we're gonna clean this thing up and get some new breakers and uh, we'll see how everything works out from there this one looks okay that one's charred yeah so I'm gonna replace all the ones that are charred uh, when your electrical shit gets old and then this is in an environment where there's a lot of overspray and paint and shit like that uh, Elements get to the inside workings of these and break the contacts or make resistance here in the contact And this is what creates the high heat and causes this plastic to melt as well as that plastic protection there, which I don't really like but uh, Looking at that I think we'll be all right. Uh, we have to get those lugs cleaned up though. That's a big big definite so uh, we're gonna go get go to Home Depot and get some breakers and uh We'll come back and get this thing rehabbed and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. We are back to our project here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scrape off these terminal lugs from any contamination. Basically burnt plastic and shit like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's kind of what we got. And I'm lead to believe what happened here is that, uh, and see there's some grease. So they did put some grease on here. I'm going to lead to believe what happened here is that uh, this area is exposed to like paint spray and shit like that. So I think what it wound up happening was is that enough of it just got in here over the years and caused uh, this degradation in uh, the terminal contacts between these circuit breakers. Now this is only going to be a temporary fix. This is just to get the panel back up and running. It could be permanent, but I'm not looking to do it that way. What I'm going to probably do here is uh, we're going to change this panel out. For right now, uh, operations tomorrow start up at 6 a.m. So we need to have at least this stuff able to be working for that time. So that's what we're going to do. So we got a couple of Siemens breakers. There we go. We'll see. These breakers here are pretty well almost universal. So I've got a couple of Eaton breakers. However, the only one I wasn't able to find in Eaton was a, was a, the 30 amp. So I got a Murray for that one, but they're all pretty much the same breakers. Uh, same load ratings and everything. So, and I've already checked, they will fit the panel. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna take some sandpaper. I'm gonna start with 80 grit and just rough sand all this crap off to make sure it's nice and clean. Now mind you, I have the power shut off. This is a three phase 240 panel. I do not want to be playing with this bus bar 
put this thing energized. That would be a big mistake. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the terminals too here. And see, these kind of melted. Actually, not really. Uh, a little bit. Just a tiny bit, but not bad at all. So I'm going to clean all that stuff off. Clean up the rough spots, and then we're gonna really clean up everything that's in here. Cause I'm just using the sandpaper right now. This is 80 grit sandpaper, just to try to get all the heavy stuff off. And now I'm gonna go back with like 150 or something like that to clean up the rest. So you can see how oxidized this bar is. So I think kind of that's what led to our failure uh, with that particular breaker. And we'll check all the rest of them. What I am going to do on this is put uh, dielectric paste. You see, this is all build up from paint spray. Like this one here has a ridge, but this is really just build up from the spray. Uh, so that's what we're sanding off. We're trying to sand off. It's not too much current, it's just what happens over time is you get resistance that builds up and can cause these kind of problems. And so that's why I believe happened. Um, it caused it to get hot and melt the breakers, kind of melt some of this plastic too. Um, so I'm not going to try to mess with too much of that. What I will ever do is clean that and then I've got some insulating paste or uh, paint that we're going to use on that. Uh, electrically rated, so it'll be fine. Because uh, this is just shielding this bar from this one here. I mean, theoretically, it can get rid of all the plastic in here and it wouldn't matter, but it keeps, it really does keep you from contacting shit that you don't want to be. And then, like I said, we're going to put the antioxidant paste on here to help. Well, that's pretty clean. I think that got pretty well cleaned up. So let's, uh, that's, that's the uh, heavy sandpaper. Let's get the fine sandpaper. Let's do a fine sand. Basically, we're going to clean off any of this oxidation in the panel. And then we're going to go through and check all the rest of the breakers. Uh, but I think these were the ones that failed first. But we'll go through, we're gonna go through one at a time so we don't lose the place where all these breakers are supposed to be. Okay, so this guy went here. Just trying to get an idea where everything went. And this guy goes above that one. So I can actually Put that one back there okay and then this breaker had gone here see this breaker was fine there was a 60 amp I had to change I think that's this one yeah so that breaker was fine and then our 20 was right there and then this 30 was right above it yeah, 38 shit pretty well. And then this one here, which is melted as well as a 20. So we're going to change these out. Wires look pretty good. Um, so let me start with this 20. Is that one off? Okay. 20. And as much as most of the time they don't do this, I am going to put... The antioxidant paste on both ends of the breaker as well as the uh, stud terminal that locks in. We're going to put a little bit of this stuff. Okay, let me get the squeeze out of the jug here. Emergency repairs on electrical. Didn't know it. Okay, there we go, put some of this crap in here, you know what, I'll just put it on the terminals, 
All right, and then we're gonna put some in here as well. Um, only time I really use this stuff is in environments where the corrosion factor is high or the contamination factor. And because in this environment it is really high, that's the reason I'm gonna be using this paste. Now 20 amps on solid, eh, it'll be fine. Those are nice and torqued. Okay, so that one can go back into here. This one was fried, right? So that it leads me to believe that this 30 was above it. So I'm pretty sure all the ones that were fried were right here. Okay, so let's put that guy right here. It's 20, okay. Now, this is 60. Let me get our 60 ready. Yet again, I'm gonna put some on the tabs. A little bit there, a little bit there. All right, make sure that just stays in there. And then the same thing, I'm gonna put some in the lugs. take the 60 I'm gonna pull both of these power lines off it Let's pull this one first make it easier for ourselves I don't know what the 60 was controlling it's controlling something I don't know what the hell is running through here that runs on 60 fucking amps though it's a really million dollar question of the day I guess As far as I can think, we don't have any circuitry up in here running on 60 amps. So that makes me wonder what the fuck this thing's feeding. So they got this thing feeding a fucking... Yeah, I don't know. That's a really good question. What this thing's feeding at 60 amps. Yeah, so they didn't put nothing in here, although there's only a little bit of dust, but... And I also think that the whole lead cause to this was breaker failure. It does happen throughout the years. Maybe I need to change that 30 too. That one's looking kind of old. But uh, before I get to that side, actually before I stick the 60 in, I'm going to put the uh, insulation paste, not insulation paste, but the, uh, the electrical paint on that circuit there. Okay, so there's a new 60. Make sure those are nice and tight. There's a torque radio on these, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Style type NP. It's only listed enclosures made in USA. Yeah, that's definitely 60. Okay. Uh, the other one here, this one here that's fried was a 30. Yeah, that one was a 30. Let me pop that one. And then the wire that I got right there that's cut was actually the one I took for a sample. That's a, uh, that's a 20. So I'm gonna put some of this paste up here in this 30. This is the one I got that's a Murray. Or Murray. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but I only had probably able to find one size 130 on these. Um yeah, the uh the other breakers I got were all uh eaten breakers. Uh but they did not have a 30. So we had to go with the next matchup. And this is the fun part about dealing with breakers, especially when they're old. Because panel's probably like 30 years old plus. Um, when the stuff's really old, uh, a lot of the manufacturers are not around anymore. They got like bought out by other people or something or another. Um, which basically means that either they've another company has made started making their breakers 
or you have to find another company's breaker that matches up. Um, so that's pretty much what I did. I'm trying to get all the wires in that slot though. That was one problem I had with one particular breaker I remember years ago. Was they, uh, the amperage was there, but they did not give you the room to put the size wire you wanted to. I wound up having to run a heavier breaker. So I was doing a sub panel on, I only needed 60 amps, maybe at best. And I wound up, or no, I only needed to feed, uh, I think it was like 50 amps. And I only wanted the, wanted the panel feed for that, but, uh, or 70 amps. Yeah, I think I was trying to go with 70 amps, but uh, I wound up having to do 100 amp breaker. God, it was a sub panel for 100 amp service anyways, so. Like it was gonna kill anybody. So let me pull this 20 back out of here. Okay. And we're gonna clean this surface off real quick. So I'm just gonna use my finger on this. The reason we're gonna clean that off is we want it nice and clean to be able to handle the insulating paint that I'm gonna put on here just to insulate the terminal all right so insulating paint surprisingly enough liquid electrical coat and available in multiple different colors I chose red because I wanted to stand out that's repair I could have went with black but I chose red so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint this part here all right now what you want to do is let this stuff kind of build up all right so i don't want to get it on the terminal however it looks like i'm doing just that so i will come back as soon as this stuff's dry and i will i'll re-sand that terminal so it's nice and clean I'm just trying to make sure I get plenty of this stuff in there. And this stuff acts just like fucking tape, but it's electrically rated. So it's actually able to stand up. I get the specific kind that's able to stand up to heat. So that uh, if this panel was to actually catch fire, this shit would be the last stuff to actually burn. Surprisingly enough on that. Uh, so it's a nice good little coat of it. All right, let that dry. All right, and we'll do our last, we'll connect our last breaker while we wait on that. And I guess I did get some on there, so we will hit that with sandpaper and clean that off. All right, so I don't ever know why they strip the shit out of these things the way they do. Because realistically, as long as I, that's only maybe three eighths of an inch. And yeah, I could strip that a little more. A lot of times these don't go in there that deep. That's the reason I don't like to strip them too long. I've seen some where they just strip the shit out of them, but it's like oh, I don't like to have that tail hanging out. See now that like that's like over half an inch long here, right? I stick that in there, and you see how it sticks out just a little bit there. Although that's fine, I just. Don't like them sticking out too long where you have an exposed leg sticking out. Now they ran 30. Oh yeah, that definitely is a 30. That's that size wire that's going to that. Alright. That's enough of that there. Let's put our 20 amp wire in here. Oh yeah. Nice and gooey. Ooey gooey, rich and chewy inside. <laughs> yummy nummy, up a tummy outside. Make sure that's nice and cranked down. Okay, I'll take our liquidized tape. Actually, to be honest with you, that looks like that's enough coat. So I'm going to leave that alone. However, I am going to remove the excess off of the fucking terminals. And actually, it's just coming right off, so that's fine. Alright, 
nicely clean there. Okay, so with that done, we can put our breakers back in. Here's our 60. Still want to know what the fuck's feeding 60 amps in this place. So we should not have anything like that. Hey, look, I got a 50 amp, three phase 50. Pretty sure that's probably feeding the other booth. And then here's the 20. Okay. All right, here we go with that. Now, let's see here. <laughs> I'll figure out which one goes where here in a second because I'm pretty sure that this 30 went right here and that this guy, this 20 goes right here. So yeah, 30 fit right on there perfectly. All right, 20 goes right there. Now, 20 is our, our booth or our mixing room. So what I should have here is just that, booth and room. However, <laughs> the company that installed the spray booth fucked up. This is actually the spray booth and this is the mixing room. Gotta love that shit, huh? So while we're here in this panel, let's just take a gander at the rest of these breakers. Okay, this one isn't, this is actually not hooked up to nothing. This is a vacant 50 amp breaker. We'll pull this one out and we'll take a look. See, this one's got charring too. It's one phase that's doing that. One phase. But it's a reason we pull it open right now and take a look. So let's set that one off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one out here. And this one right below it out, which is empty. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to clean everything up. And the reason we're doing this is to prevent any other issues. I only actually have one breaker being used here out of like the three I just pulled off. Which is a total fucking trick, huh? And then this one was... It could be an issue with that phase. Uh, you know. But yet again, like I said. And then this one here. The oxidation man. This stuff's like heavily fucking oxidized. I'm probably not gonna show this whole video. I'm probably just gonna break it up into clips. It's so, like we're looking at these. And we'll maybe just take some sandpaper and just run it inside there too. And then I do the same thing as we put them back. We'll put the paste in here. Okay, a little bit of paste in there. Okay, so this one needs to go right here. Okay. Okay. This one needs to go three steps down. What I'm thinking of doing is coating, coating the lugs with this stuff. Yeah, probably would help. Coat the lugs. And this this stuff allows electricity to conduct. It just keeps the oxidation from building up. It's really what it does. So this one goes here. All right. And then this 
one goes. This one here has issues. If you actually look here, you can see fucking melting right in the middle. So I would actually replace this breaker before I use it uh, because of that. check on that here in a minute I'll check on that here in a minute so this one went right here and then this one here goes right here on the bottom another 30 amp probably doesn't need to be a 30 it looks like I could just been a 20 but they still running 30 amp on that breakers a little loose now let's pull this one out let's take a look this one's got some weird springage shit going on yeah, see that one there, I'm going to be reluctant to say that that might be an issue too. And again, these ones I'm messing with right now are actually not a problem at all. But since we are in here, we will just do the cleanup anyways to prevent future issues. Then I'll run this on up into here. And see how the amount of dust in here? That can cause problems with electricity too. So, let's yet again paste these. I'll cut down on the bullshit. Uh, this one got kind of warm too. Or something got warm across it. See that arc pattern right there? And I would really just, yeah, well, we're going to replace this panel. <laughs> I really think that does need to happen. They're just worried more about getting operations up because this panel here is actually controlling one of the spray booths. And because it's controlling one of the spray booths, it's a big... Uh, that sound is right, I'm gonna go check on that we'll come back to this that was uh, something. I don't know what the hell that was, but it wasn't around here. So, see all this dust and crap. This is half our problem with this panel. This is why you would just start to have electrical failure too. You just got too much shit built up, and this stuff can cause problems too. So this is what we're trying to clean up here. Now the problem we have with this panel with that those breakers that charred and burned up is not the panel actually being overloaded because we're not even pulling nearly as much juice as this thing's rated for. Uh, it was merely constant. All right, so we made some progress. We had to abandon this slot because it just keeps arcing there. So this panel will have to get changed, but we're down here where this uh, where there was a 30. So now we're over here working on this shit because the electrician that came out and replaced relay contactor replaced it with a 24 volt DC contactor so the coil on this is 24 volts DC not 120 so every time you flip the motor switch it would throw the breaker because it already fried this thing pretty much so you already connected that one. Oh no no I haven't already connected I need to take the 480 off this or I'm sorry the 243 phase off this and plumb it back into this one that's where they fucked up. 
So I had a screwdriver I was playing with here. Oh, you fucking. Oh, okay. Uh, that's gonna say shit. So. We're gonna pull our hot lugs off this one and put them on back on the old contactor that they had going on here. Or right, we're shut down on power on that one. I'm not looking to play with live three phase. Really not looking to play with live three phase. I don't like these because you really kind of have to shove these fucking wires in there to get them to stick. So let's stick six wires in. six bars off so there's number two a million dollar thing is I don't know why they just didn't get the power for all the shit to begin with from here because we've got plenty of amperage coming from these three big ass lines it's not like it can't handle it yeah. like I could put a whole another sub panel right off that shit okay, you can. But that cost money, that's why they did what they did. Okay, so there's that. Wifey's still mad at you. You know what they say, man. Lick your wounds and go back on. Alright, I need to find the other screw that holds the turn block in there. That's right here. I was trying to get this thing off, it did not want to come off. These are more of a you just pry them off so as I thought we may have had a short going on here but we didn't Nice job on putting this shit together. Cobble bullshit. Huh? All of a sudden, you getting a shit ton of text messages? Yeah, 24 volt fucking relay. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. No wonder it. Every time you went to hit the switch to turn the blower on, it kept shorting. Well, no shit. The fucking 24 volt system here is no bueno. A 120 volt line is not going to feed it or not going to run. A 120 volt line is not going to fucking operate a 24 volt DC fucking contactor. I mean, I'm not a fucking. Oh no, that shit's all dead right now. I have the power shut off. Come on, I ain't stupid. <laughs> My wife's on the fucking tablet. Your wife's on the tablet? Yeah, because I have her phone. Oh. So she's like fucking going ballistic right now? Or what? Nah, but she's... I thought I was like, I'll fucking... I'll be there in a minute. Just give me a minute, please, sweetie. Do it the same way. What the fuck is that wire for? This wire? Is that your test wire right here? What wire? So? No, I don't know what that somebody was fucking around, I guess. The mechanic or the fucking electricians. electricians. Yeah, but they were over here looking with this. Oh, the bigger problem was in the sub panel over there. So I'm sure they charged to come out and put in a fucking relay that don't work. I'm gonna laugh Where'd too. Where'd you get this relay at? It was sitting up here. What do you mean it's sitting up here? It was laying right here. They had replaced it. And left the old one because it didn't work or didn't fix the problem so they didn't know what the hell they were doing sad part is this was an actual electrician that came out it's like dude you couldn't figure out that you had a 20 you had the wrong fucking contactor pull the screw out a little bit more no it's it's open on this side i just gotta fucking get it in there now watch 
I fucking hit. We'll go turn that breaker on. And I'll fucking hit. Hey, Mitch, you're fucking standing first. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you better, you fucking hit it. No, no wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you when to turn on. Don't turn it on yet. So let me put, let me put this back onto the fucking contact block. You're like right next to that fucking power wire, you dick. Don't worry about it. There we go. Let me connect this other little fucking bastardized relay off on the side here. For what? Back to the neutral it's supposed to be connected to is I unplugged that shit to see to rule it out as a short. Okay. Who used that cap? They did? What's that? Who capped it like that? You did? Capped what? Those? With that little fucking that wire. What this? Yeah. You uh, uh, no, the cap was already on there because they got multiple things feeding. This was a junction. I just took it off to pull it off to rule out a short straight to fucking neutral. Rule out that that. So re these, those things work pretty good. The contactors. Those cap. Oh, these wire nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no other rated way to do it. These are actually rated by code. You have to use these. Really? Yeah. Okay, so uh, control wires. So for shits and giggles, in case anything arcs, I'm putting the cover back on. <laughs> that's the reason I'm putting the cover. That's the reason I'm putting the cover back on, in case anything does arc. I'm pulling this one out because the screw stripped out. So we put that in there. Okay, go ahead and trip that breaker on. No, I haven't turned this one on yet. I haven't turned the motor contactor on yet. Okay, stand back from that panel. What do you know? There's your whole fucking problem right there. Stupid ass electricians. Oh, that and a fucked up three-phase panel. That panel doesn't need to be replaced. But I can't get one until tomorrow, so. Where you get at? Uh, that one I have to actually go get over at CNC Electrical. They don't sell three-phase at Home Depot. Although, realistically, I don't need a fucking three-phase panel. It's fine the way it is. Well, I could leave it the way it is, but that panel is pretty fucking worn up. I mean, that whole middle fucking... Yeah, Dude, I can get a fucking panel for less than a hundred bucks. I mean, the breakers were cheap. I use the same fucking breakers. I get a panel that works on the same. But that fucking lug right there, dude, that thing is just toast. Well, let it be. Try to rehab that fucking bitch and that still didn't work. Oh, uh, we don't want to fire though. That's a whole idea of fit, well, replacing shit. Here. I'll tell Willie and let them here. decide it. Huh? Fuck no, look at all the chemicals. Look at this shit, dude. Check this out. These are the old breakers. So anyway, that's our electrical fun for today. It's all water based. Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> Fry up an electrical panel, and I'll see you on the next burn job. A few issues, so we're checking one more connection box here. Uh, I guess, actually what I should do here is... We should flip that switch. Well, no, what I should do is put this back together since we know it's a switch is not a problem. We have a problem with power coming from one of the lines feeding in. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's right here at this fucking box. Because I believe this to be a junction box that feeds from the main panel there, comes into this junction box before it even goes to that panel. That's what I'm thinking here. Don't they have to have a left? Uh, we don't have to have it, but there has to be planning. I mean, there has to be. Usually, there is blueprints. I don't have blueprints, man. I'm fucking finding shit as I'm going here. That's all I can do. But what I'm going to do here, real quick, is since I know it's not the switch that's the problem, I'm going to fucking. 
Could also be an issue with that circuit breaker. I really hope not, because I'm not really wanting to open that door up. I don't want to fuck with that one either. Well, you know what? I'll be honest with you. If I had to open that door up, I'm killing this whole fucking place. I am completely killing power to the entire fucking building. How the fuck we put power to the, that main fucking switch? Did you see that big ass fucking throw switch? Yeah. Up on the middle? Yeah. Big long, two foot long handle? Yeah. Yeah. You throw that. But you know how you throw that? You get yourself a broomstick handle. <laughs> That's about a good, you know, four or five feet long. Uh -huh. you, you, you put the stick end up against that thing, you stand back about five feet, and you throw it. Actually, it's not so bad when you're throwing it off. When you're throwing it on <laughs> is where you might want to be a little more careful. What? Uh, because arcing. Especially if you have shit pulling power. Now, the be you can throw that by hand, but the best way to... You can turn it off by hand. However, you probably want to shut the sub-panels off first. And you want to reduce the power from the brake because uh, it can arc. You can wind up with arcing, which is jumping electricity. Yeah, okay. And that's why you that's why you would do it with What's a broomstick. That oh, that thing's like like three four hundred amps. Yeah, that's enough to freaking. That's enough to flash fire a human being. Okay, was this my glove? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put that back on. No, it's got a hole. You know Edison does that shit with their fucking gloves. Yeah, but this is not electrically rated, so it won't matter. Nah, it's still gonna fucking get you. No, these these will fry, dude. I accidentally arced 240 across one of these things, dude. I ripped that fucker off. It was burning it to my hand. All right, so here we go. Class D. Electrical panel. Have fun with that shit. Oh, we're about to have some fun. <laughs> so the red wire, which is this one, right? That's the red one feeding in. Be careful touching the fucking wires, bro. These are dead. These are dead right now. There's no power going to them. Remember, we shut the breaker off. Yeah, let me go turn the breaker on. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> so, um. Fucking Romeo, you smell like you cooking. What you cooking? You cooking that bowl cheese. We got three hots, and we should have one neutral. That's this one right here. Yep. So. Well, you got me fucked up. You fucked up. Still, that. I know it's dead too. Watch you better hope it's all dead. <laughs> so you wanna you wanna know the easiest way to find out? Take that wire and tap it to there. Ah! No, it's dead. It is dead. And the easy way I can tell on that actually is easiest way I can tell that that line's dead, and that's my red wire feeding in. Well, we know it's dead because as soon as we cut the power to that, that cut the power to the lights. That's why I knew it was this box. The big reason I said that was because, look, right here, that's the red wire. That's the one I got right here. And then this black one here is this guy. And we have no power coming off that black guy. And I'm going to take... Huh? I said black wire. Black guy. Black wire. That's what I mean by black guy. Okay. Black wire. Right, just okay, sure. so I can take this, bend this over. And use it as a test lead, right? If I touch it to there, I got no power. Well, I touch this to here, on? it doesn't matter. I'm going right to the fucking lead terminal, the lead wire coming in. Okay. I touch it there, I still got no power. That's how I know. I know we're dead. Plus, I'm wearing gloves and I'm not grabbing the bare wire. Yeah, keep that fucker handy. That so what All I'm going right, to do. Now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut through this fucking tape. We're going to check the insulation on this shit. You know, can we deal with this shit later so I can just fucking... Uh, I have to have this shit done by tonight. I wish I could say later it would be fine. But they want all this shit done before 
The shop opens up tomorrow. Yeah, Willie was very adamant about that. So I'm. Yeah, they had an electrician out. That's the guy that fucking replaced the uh, fucking shit over there, man. Fucking man. Well, let me borrow your laptop. The only bad thing is I can't go to Home Depot right now to get parts. Nope. They are fucking closed. But then again, it's six o'clock in the morning, and I can. So, what I'm probably gonna do is go replace this. Uh, there's a. There should be. Unless they fucking didn't do it that way on this, there should be a terminal block in here that these wires are tied to. That's what I should have in here. You know they got electrical tape and fucking. Yeah, well, ninety thousand year old electrical tape. Ah! Dumbass. Come on now. You think I'm that stupid? Like, yeah, you would be like, mm. uh, it would be a big old arc and. Oh, oh, look at that bastard! Why are you getting scared? I don't want shit crawling on me. I don't have a problem with fucking spiders, but I have a problem when they want to come creeping. I'll make sure. That was a big motherfucker, too, wasn't he? No, that's a small big fucker. Oh, I ain't no fucking. Oh. CHP. I think he's sitting on his ass out there. He can run it. So I just like they sent a sheriff out there. Are you Kilo and the sheriff and it was a fucking Land Rover and they had to pull out another truck full? Yeah, that's very... When I told him to fucking send me out there? Yeah, well the whole point is he had to have the sheriff driver out there to begin with. Um, I'm a fucking sheriff driver. Dude, seriously? I would like, really would just want to cut these right now. Just fucking cut them then! I don't have anything to connect them! That's my problem. What do you think's oh. connecting that shit? Nothing. Takes well, the probably nothing, man. I'm looking. They got some kind of fucking shit wrapped on here. That's that fucking uh, electrical glue. It's not glue. It's like a fucking epoxy tape kind of shit. Yep. But if I'm hoping that they had a connector in here, they probably didn't. Well, why don't you just check that wire and take that cap off and see if it fucking arcs? With that? Yeah, you go from there. Well, I'm worried about that. That's not gonna arc. No, what I'm saying is why don't you test it from there versus having to take all that shit off? No, I need. I'm opening this up to check the connection. The end. I'm pretty sure there's no issue with the connection right there. Pretty sure that there is. I'm pretty sure that there's not. Uh, no, because this is why we're we're not getting fucking power, asshole. Okay, let me go flip the paper. You hold this shit then. I'll go flip it. You leave the fucking thing right there. It ain't going nowhere and you fucking hit the breaker like that. I'm not... No, no. Don't hit the breaker like that. Why not? There's enough juice going through here that if this is arcing, this could actually flash arc. Well, there's metal right there and I got concrete right here so it ain't hitting I anything. ain't playing with that shit. Fuck off. <laughs> we'll fucking see. asshole. Why don't you go flip the switch and I'll stand Because right I ain't here. trying to get fried, dick. If you flip the switch over there, it ain't gonna arc you. It ain't gonna arc me. Just flip the switch right there and fucking go from Let's there. Throw this one onto here. There you go. No, that'll fix our light problem, but that won't fix our fucking electrical issue. We have a third phase out on that panel. That's why we're having fucking arcing issues, and that's our third phase right there. That's why we're right here trying to fix this shit right now. So what needs to happen is I need a fucking... Why would I want to do that? We're trying to fix a problem, not fucking leave it alone. Cheapest fix. Just put together two wires together and let it go. <laughs> no, then they arc and you got problems. Hey, where the hell is my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay. Good luck trying to get through that shit. You're gonna spend a long fucking time to do that. Not really. Are any of the office computers logged in? You don't need a login for those. So you need to turn them on. on yeah. So I don't think this shit's running through any kind of connectors. Nope. Doesn't appear to be because it, I already got bare wire here. Well, that's what I told you. Where's my fucking. Where's my pliers, asshole? Where's my, uh. Right here, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start breaking this shit apart. Oh, shit, I'm gonna go pop the breaker. You pop that fucking breaker and I swear to God, you won't fucking make it out of here alive. What are you gonna do, throw me onto the breaker? I'm gonna fucking hook these wires up to your ass. Well, don't threaten me with a good time. You wanna get kinky like that, let's do it. Okay, well here. I already stripped him out. You go ahead and hold this. Okay, well get the fuck out the way and go check the breaker. Maybe we'll get these lights working right here. <laughs> I'll definitely be working all right. These ones will be working right here. So let's see what they got going on here. Do they just crimp this shit or what the fuck did Dad! they Dad! <laughs> I'm standing on the edge of my fucking toes, asshole. Uh, I didn't even fucking touch you, fucker. Don't oh, even... you fucking scared my you a back, little bit. Dick. <laughs> so let's see what we got going on here. So no. what they did here was. Oh, look at that wire. Ooh, that's fucking gnarly. Yeah, fuck that. Let's not turn the breaker on. Sure. And sure you want to turn on? I hope you have enough shit to cover that, dude. Oh, no, no. I'm going to get a different kind of connector for this. We are going to cut these, and we are going to redo the connection on them. Yeah, but so there's going to be no power until 6 a.m. Look at what they used. A battery terminal? No. A fucking pinch splice. Oh, lovely. Fucking idiots. Problem is, that thing probably corroded like a motherfucker. Mm, brass is always good. <laughs> brass is good until it corrodes, asshole. Mm -hmm. What was that? Look at that. That's how it's just connecting the two lines, right? Yep. Problem is, is that if there's any kind of oxidation or shit in here, or they're not pinched tight enough, which they don't really look like they're totally pinched tight enough, then that creates a problem, right? This was the whole problem in the whole first place. This whole fucking nut was loose. And this is why I was getting arcing on that fucking breaker over there. Look at him. Look at him. Now he's pissing me off. You're supposed to... If you're going to do that, kill him. Don't fucking <laughs> Piss drop him. Off. No, because then he's gonna want to come back and bite with a vengeance, asshole. Well, you right. can go sleep here. There's another one right there. Where? A little, little baby one right there in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we will wrap the shit out of this thing with electrical tape. I got to, but this is a problem. We're gonna get new connectors for all this shit. I can chop all these open. We got four lines here to fix. So I'll go tomorrow and get four fucking big giant connectors. Don't do that because it fucking might set the box on fire, asshole. He's right over there, man. You keep missing him. See right there? Right there. There you go. That other guy was the guy that was fucking hiding out in the bottom of the fucking... I gotta give this a lighter back to Echo. <laughs> Tweaker lighter? I, I, I fixed it for him. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was a little bit low, but... <laughs> Just a little, huh? Yeah, I think I fucking redid re his... Got it, got it definitely a bit high? Oh, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. You can kind of shake it and put it out, but... Yep. Alright, so I'm going to connect this wire back to here. I already put that switch back together. Uh -oh. Are you going to pop the switch? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. We're not, we're not doing that yet. We're gonna stand the fuck away from that, though. Um, what I'm going to put is this back into here, and this will tell us if we got a good, <laughs> we got a good connection. Though. Still getting scared. I'm not getting scared. He's jumped a little bit. Dude, I'm on fucking rolling edges right now. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, come on now, don't give me that bullshit. And I fucking am losing my balance right now. You I don't fear it. Fuck you, I don't fear electricity. I'm smart enough to fucking know how to play with it though. Oh. Also gotta do is just you know what we need to do? We need to get one of that 12-volt batteries and run it to fucking echo seat. Why run a 12 volt? Alright, let's go throw the breaker and see if the lights come on. Oh yeah, sits on the fucking thing. Probably sits on 
Let's go see if the lights come on. Let's go see if the lights come on. What, well, jump pack? Oh yeah. Thing works great. Oh, let there be lights. Go touch that wire. Fuck you. Grab it, man. I'm not that stupid. Don't move it, though. That thing will fucking arc. <laughs> I leave the lights on, though, man. You feel comfortable enough running, letting it run like that? No. Not uncovered. Some idiot will fucking come in tomorrow and fucking hit that thing, fucking electrocute himself. Either electrocute himself or arcing on the box. Check that would be a fucking box. Oh no, that will start a fire or fucking cut a hole through that box. Well, you're good to go. To work through it now. Well, we figured out where our problem is. We had a fucking loose connection, which means I need to get. Uh, well, you still didn't you connect that other wire to the other one? No, I connected it back. No, in the box you did? Yeah, I put everything back the way it was. Pop the box, let me see. Careful, dude. Don't get too close to that wire. Huh? Oh, no shit, you did, huh? Yeah. What's your name? That's how I was testing it. And I connected it back to the wire nut running off that fucker. Right now, there's only 120 volts running through that line. <laughs> and it's fucking, uh... Um, Alright, touch that wire see if it'll I'm still not out. gonna touch it, man. Oh, you think I wanna get... volts, it ain't that bad. Fuck you, I do not wanna get electrocuted. I don't care how many volts it is. I've been shocked enough times. I know how that shit feels. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and fuck you. What, what I am going to try though right now is I'm going to change this breaker back to that fucking line and see if we have any issues because I think that's where our bigger problem was. Yeah, I turned the light back off. It arced. Well, it's not going to arc right now because there ain't no load going to it. It was arcing. You want to put that switch and show you? No, that's okay. You don't need to show me. I understand you. So something's wrong with this fucking pole right here. Something's crossed. No, it's just there's a loose weakness in the connection here. That's the problem with that actual pole. So that's why I went down here to a different pole. It's probably just burned up, so. Well, see, that one here. Is, yeah, it's it's burned up, but the other side's working fine. It's just that edge. But any which way, that one is actually the same thing as this one right here. And this one's working perfectly. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get the fucking breaker in there. Okay. Exactly. Huh? Did it? Yep. Got to be that connection, man. No, it's running from that fucking feeder over there. It's not running from over here. That's running off the same feed. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Dick. Hold on. All right, so that's there right there, right? That's that's feeding. Did the breaker trip or no? For the for the mixing room. It's on. Mixing room is up top, not that breaker. Yeah. Nothing. Everything's on. The blue wire. Okay. Find me something that's non-metallic, uh, wood or something. We gotta have like a wooden handle here somewhere. Ah, uh, I need longer than that, dude. Fucking a. Take two shit for this. Yeah, like a broom handle here somewhere. 
There's a shovel. It's all right. The fucking. I'm gonna move that wire. Technically, I'm not getting shit off that fucking electricity. I gotta see this. Watch your eyes, though, man. This could fucking arc. What about touching the metal board? No, we don't want to do that. Why not arc it? See? It's not here, man. Gotta be over at the fucking panel. Son of a bitch. Dude. Dude. Oh, uh, let's go check and see that uh, fucking breaker. Yeah, sure. <laughs> exactly. That's overloading the breaker then. Well, place has a million and one power issues. That'd be the first thing I'd probably check. Could be that that breaker's old too. I'm not fucking with this panel, man. If they want to fucking get shit replaced and get the electrical guy out here. Well, breaker's still active. There you go. Really? This breaker's bad. I ain't flipping shit. The breaker's fucking failing. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, Wait, so that breaker fails, then that means there's no power to that fucking blower, right? Yeah, that means that thing shuts off. That's why we're losing power to that line. So then it's tripping the breaker here. It's not tripping the breaker. But the breaker's fucking up. How is it fucking up? Like loose contacts? Like bad contacts. Fun part about this one is... What? What do we got feeding here? I got... <laughs> That's the one with the four fucking three panels. I got 125 amp... Fucking, uh, I got one 125 amp fucking three phase breaker. I got another 125 amp three phase baker. And then I have a 60 amp or a 90, no, I'll take that back, a 90 amp. A 90 amp three phase breaker. And that one there is a 100 amp three phase breaker. Yeah, no. Which means when I go to open this up. That's got to go off. So that means we're going to be down. Uh, fuck. Fuck yeah. It's going to break it. Trip the breaker again. It's not tripping it though. That's the problem. Yeah, well, yeah, well go ahead and uh, go over there and turn that blower off right now. And then... Um, Oh, uh, I can swap it tomorrow, but I'm gonna have to go fucking, uh... That means I'm gonna... That means I'm gonna have a stone Actually, no. We're not gonna be able to swap it tomorrow. The whole place is gonna be down. Hey, yeah. Shut that down. Then I'm gonna shut this light off. Shut the breaker off right there. No. The off. That? No, the main breaker. Well, that? No, leave it. Oh yeah, huh? Cover that main. No, just don't have to. No, let me shoot you're right. I should let me shut that thing off until I get that wire covered. Alright, I'll leave it. Just cut it off and then tell the Willie tomorrow and you can meantime fucking work on that shit. Oh well, the rest. problem is is that No, I'm not I can't change that till Sunday. There's no way I can change that breaker till Sunday. Yeah, because they can't deal with that fucking power anymore. Exactly. Cause I have to cut the power to the whole fucking office. They, also can't deal with the blower they can still run that. It's just have to keep an eye on that. I'm just shutting it off for right now. It's only intermittent. I was fucking with it as I, I was pushing it on and on more. I wasn't turning it off, but I was actually pushing it on. It's not fucking and it was, engaging all the way. Yeah. 
But that last time, it felt like that fucker engaged big time. So, could be all it is. Oh shit, I left my tablet out there. So, but we got a few problems here. Old switch gear, man. That's all it is. It's all old switch gear. That, well, just come in and monitor update shit. I mean, I already changed a bunch of breakers there. We have a fucking surge going on on one wire. We got a surge going on on that one leg. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. Got a surge going on the one leg. No, I'll, just, I'll come back in tonight and wrap it with electrical tape. I'll wrap it up real good. I'm checking for one more pair of cutters. I should have over here. Well, they wonder why half the shit didn't work over here. Well, that fucking probably explained why. You want to fucking cut that breaker off over there too? No, leave it on. The whole panel's dead right now. Oh, that's right, you pulled it. You hit that breaker. I hit the main breaker. I say you just fucking... We had one problem here. We, we saw. Okay, here comes the fun. Three phase 400 amp control panel. Main control panel. We need to get into here. We need to change this breaker out. So, for all due intents and purposes, rubber gloves. Work gloves on top of those rubber gloves. I don't really want to open this, but this is unfortunately what we get to do, so here we go. Let's see this guy. Unless I see problems with this fucking panel. If I see problems with this panel, man, I don't know what the fuck to say. That's not going to be good either way you look at it. <laughs> this is getting a little scary now. That's a 240 volt AC three pole or three phase 400 amp fucking main. Now on a good day, I would shut that thing off before I opened up the bottom of this panel. However, I cannot kill power to the entire building, so very reluctantly. I need to open this up and see if I can get that breaker out without having to shut everything down. Oh yeah, don't do that, you dick. Don't fucking do that. So, first things first, got to take this cover off. Last line of protection for anything is this fucking cover. This will come out. Okay. Now. Uh. is holding that breaker in place. Okay, that breaker is screwed down there. And pretty sure it's just stabbed on right there. So it looks like it. So then our question is if I can get that out of there without having to undo the buses. And it looks like it's just stabbed in. It was real close to the other one right there. Fucking A, man. This is a bad idea. As far as I see it, any which way south of Sunday. Well, that breaker's off. So, what I can do is I can get, disconnect these lines. And that one here is tight, right? Yeah, that one's tight. So. <laughs> that startled me. So, black, blue, red. Alright, let's move that one down there, out of the way. There's one coming out now.
That's taste or that's darker? No, that's taste. Okay, red one. Okay, a little bit of oxidation on these, but not bad. Alright, blue, red, and black. Those are my three wires. Now I've got two screws right there that appear to be holding this breaker in place. Actually, it appears this is a pop-off type of breaker. It should be able to just do that. There we go. Yep, that's it. It's in the fucking nutshell. And yeah, there's your arcing right there. Okay. Fucking okay, man. Alright, well for safety's sake, let's uh... Let's look at our block. Holy shit, that does not look good. That looks really fucking bad. God damn it. Piece of that one's gone. And have a bitch. Look at that thing, dude. That thing's arc the motherfucker. It was red that was giving me the problem though. That's the funny part. Jesus Christ, look at that fucking pole, dude. Like half of it starts off. <coughs> wow. Yeah. Fuck man, I mean, that bus had me to get the place. Big time. Oh, that was the fuck that was. I'm not even sure what the fuck that one's feeding, but. Holy fuck. Man, seriously. I can feel the fucking energy coming off that thing. Ah, uh, it looks bad all the way around. <sighs> Blue, black, and red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck these for right now. These are feeders. Uh, feeding our shit. Right now they have no power going to them. Those big old 125 amp bastards. Those are stab on too. Jesus fucking Christ. this guy back in for right now I've got uh, an idea of kind of what I need here uh, we will see that ones up being what I can't get though so uh, surprisingly this one was oh yeah that was the bad one that was really fucking arcing that was blue 
So we're going to try to leave one of these out. I don't know how well that's going to work. Oh, there went my fucking light. Motherfucker. Okay. That's in the off position, right? Okay. Somehow, we have to get that to fit into here. Stab itself back into place. That's still off, right? Yep. Alright, so well, now that's on the panel. We can try to crank these down nice and tight. Yeah, nice having no fucking light. screwdriver twisting okay all right before we turn that on let's put the cover over in case we get an arc very good reason to put this cover on because if it arcs up I don't want that cover off uh, this is a big fucking breaker Okay, see what you got. <clears throat> so, if I had to confirm it, should have no power to one of these lines. That red line there coming in should be dead. extension cord I should see a light on the end of it yep that's lit
All right, let's come over here and check the rest of our shit. No, we're not done yet. Oh. I had to change the main. No. From there? It's fried too. Which one? The 220? The three phase 100 amp feeding this panel. That's the, okay. So what we had was, we had this panel arced up. Yeah. One of the legs, the one that was feeding off of. You're not recording this, right? Oh. Okay.